This is probably the easiest method to translate themes and plugins for WordPress. We'll start by installing a plugin called Loco Translate. That's it, now we're ready to start translating. So go to Loco Translate and manage your translations. So in this area right here, you're going to see everything that is translatable. So we have our Aster theme and the default 2015 theme and a bunch of plugins as well. In this tutorial, I'm going to use our Aster theme, but this is going to work with most of WordPress themes out there. So let's start by creating a new translation. And even if you see your language in this list, you still want to create a new translation unless you're 100% sure that these are accurate translations. So create a new translation. And here you can select the language you want to translate your theme to. And I'm not going to actually translate the theme, so I'm just going to pick English. But this is where you pick your language. And start translating. In our theme, I want to translate this bit right here that says tags. So to do that, I'm going to go in my dashboard and filter for the word tags. There we go. And now instead of tags, I'm just going to say my favorite tags. And that's all I really need to do. Click save. Now go back to my site. Give the page a reload. And there we go, my favorite tags. That's it. It's really that simple to translate themes and plugins with local translate. Now there's one more little tip that I'm going to leave you with. If you go back to your dashboard, sometimes you see these percent %s signs and you need to make sure that you leave them intact because they are going to be replaced by real text afterwards. So for example, we have one comment in here and if I search for comments, there we go, we have percent %1$s and then comment. So if I want to translate that, I need to copy the whole string Make sure there are no excess spaces and just change the comment to something. Or I could do actually, there is something comment. So when I click save on that, go back to my page, reload the page. See now it says there is one comment. So just be careful when translating these kinds of strings. Now when you are done translating, if you still haven't set your site language, you need to do that for your translation to appear. To do that, you can just go to Settings, General, scroll way down, and here you have a setting called Site Language, and just pick the language that you translated to. So that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.